Thanks for coming to Rosie Dozzy's Life. I hope everybody is good out there. Today, I'm going to show y'all how my mama make oxtails. This is the ending product, and this is what I'm going to start with. I started off with cleaning my oxtails, and now I'm seasoning them. Everything that I use to season these oxtails with will pop up at the bottom of the screen. And you have to mix the seasoning all over on this meat. So just massage your meat with the seasoning. You want all of the seasoning to get all over this meat. Just take every tail if you have to and massage it. All right. So now it all looks like it's been touched with the seasoning. So now what I'm going to do is put my flour in. And of course, I'm going to season my flour as well. I will not put all of the same seasonings on. I'll just put a couple and just toss it around in the flour. You have to make for sure all of the oxtail is covered with the flour. Now I have some oil here in the pan. You don't want to deep fry it. You just want to sear it on every side. Just put them directly on top of the oil. And whenever putting something in oil, always place it. Don't throw it. Just lay it in there. And they will sear fast, so keep a good eye on them. Never leave oil. Always stay close by. And if you like, you can also trim down the fat on your oxtails. As you can see how golden they are becoming, that's all you want is a sear. We're not trying to cook them in the oil. This is more of a stew meat, so it takes hours to cook this down to become tender. Look at the color, y'all. Absolutely beautiful. And if you let your oxtails cook long enough, whether you bread them with flour or not, they will make their own broth, gravy. So I will not be doing a roux. I will not be making a gravy for these. They will make their own. So now they're done and I'm taking them out. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put in the delicious chicken broth and you can use whatever broth you choose. You can use beef. You can use vegetable, whatever you like, you can put in your oxtails. This is the gravy. And here you can see it's already becoming a gravy on its own. And this is the vegetables that I will be using to put in once the gravy becomes thicker. See you guys, see how the gravy is coming? And it's, as you can see, it's still loose, so it's not done yet. And the meat is not falling apart. So this will take a little bit longer. And if you can tell by the gravy, how the bubbles look on it, that it is getting thicker and it's still not ready. See how it's not holding to the spoon, but it's getting close. So we're just gonna let it continue to cook because we want the gravy to become thick and we have to have the meat tender the meat should be falling off the bone. And the vegetables that I used, I chose ginger, garlic, onions, and bell pepper. Just mix them in so they can start cooking and they can flavor the gravy and the meat. Whenever I cook any kind of meat, I always put plenty of garlic in it. I go heavy, heavy on garlic. As you can see, all of the vegetables in here, this will season your meat deliciously. It is paired with some white rice. So now we're gonna go on ahead and check on this meat again. And it is getting sticky, it is done looking. Let's see here. It is tender. 
And this is what you're looking for. You want your meat to pull away from the bone easily. And your gravy has gotten thicker. The longer you cook your oxtails, the tenderer your meat will become and the thicker your gravy will become. But watch that gravy because it will burn at this point. So you, this is a patient meal, so you have to be watchful and patient with your oxtails. And they are done, y'all. And look at the gravy up close. As you can see, it is thick. It holds its own. And this is with no packet and or roux. So since it's done, let's go on ahead and plate this up. A little parsley for presentation and here are your oxtails enjoy I thank you all for your time and I plan to see you all for the next video so y'all stay safe always wash your hands and leave your shoes at that back door look at the oxtails y'all with or without frying they will make their own broth I'm out enjoy don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe, and hit that bell, and press all so you'll get all notifications. All right, y'all. Until next time. Bye-bye.